A very good morning. You're watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. I am Ruth Inasije, and here we look at stories that are making headlines in some of Uganda's districts. We start with Mitiana district. Now, Mitiana district leaders, including legislators and national resistance movement leaders, on Wednesday resolved to support the removal of the presidential age limit. According to the district interim chairperson, Haj Haruna Nzinza, the leaders asked their MPs to support the removal of the presidential age limit. The MPs present included Mitiana North MP Godfrey Chiwanda, Mitiana South MP Henry Kamemakumbi, Judith Nabakuba, the woman MP, and Busuju MP David Karanga. And in Rukunjiri district, one person died as police dispersed a rally in Rukunjiri town. The rally was supposed to be addressed by former FDC presidential candidate Dr. Kizabes J and FDC presidential aspirant Patrick Amriat. The regional police spokesperson Eli Mate identified the dead as Edson and Sasira of Ramuha Rohinda subcounty. Mate said the cause of his death was not readily established. Police says the politicians had not sought permission mission to hold a procession and a rally in Rukunjiri district. And here in Kampala district, jail tablik leader Sheikh Mohammed Yunis Kamuga has applied for bail at the Court of Appeal. On August 22nd, the International Crime Divisions of the High Court jailed Kamuga, Bukenya, Kawoya and Kalunji for the rest of their lives in prison after they were found guilty of terrorism. And finally, in Kamali district, residents of Kamali town woke up to grisly scenes of blood splattered on the tarmac after an accident involving a bus registration number UAZ654F. The bus knocked a cyclist at Chanamira Trading Center a few kilometers on the Kamali Intungamu Road. Two people died on sport and scores sustained injuries. That is it for now. We shall be following these stories for you here on New Vision TV. But for more news updates, visit our website www.newvision.co.ug. I am Ruth Inasege.